Before electricity can arrive at your home to toast your bread, it has to be made first. Electricity is made or generated at power plants. Basic sources used to make electricity can be coal, water, natural gas, oil, nuclear, and wind. When electricity leaves the power plant, it is in its most powerful form, or as high as 765,000 volts. To compare, when it gets to your wall outlet, it is just 120 or 240 volts. From the power plant, transmission lines carry electricity long distances from city to city or from state to state. And these lines are held up and linked together by transmission towers, which are the big structures you have probably seen along the highways. These towers are usually about 100 feet tall and can be made of either metal or wood. Now, transmission lines are actually bare aluminum or copper wires which are conductors for the electricity. Transmission wires are larger than the wires on poles in your neighborhood. Porcelain insulators hold the wires in place and keep the electricity running through the wires and not through the tower itself. And remember, a conductor allows for the easy flow of electricity and an insulator protects or does not allow for the easy flow of electricity. In addition to the wires carrying the electricity, one or two ground wires protect the tower from lightning strikes. These bare wires are not safe to touch at any time. You should never touch, climb, or go near the towers or wires. Before electricity can travel from the transmission system and be delivered to your home, it has to make a stop at a substation like this. You've probably driven by a substation and not even realized what it is or what it does. A substation is enclosed by fencing for safety and houses the equipment that changes the electricity from one level to another. The electricity coming from the transmission line runs through a substation transformer, which transforms the electricity or steps it down to a lower level, reducing it from as much as 765,000 volts to less than 39,000 volts. This lower level of electricity is easier to handle and is now ready to be delivered to your home or business. But before we move on to the distribution system, let's now review some transmission system safety tips. Always assume wires have electricity running through them. If you see a fallen wire, call 911 and your local power company immediately. Do not approach the wire or let anyone else near it. Transmission wires are bare and not insulated, so do not touch any wires. Do not touch or attempt to climb transmission towers. Do not enter a substation for any reason. If a child's ball or other object ends up in the substation, do not attempt to retrieve it. Call the power company to remove the object safely. Do not touch, climb, or cut holes in substation fencing. The fencing is there for your protection. Do not approach or attempt to climb on any electrical equipment because if there is an equipment failure, it could cause injury. Do not attempt to steal copper or any other material from a substation. Copper is a conductor, so it is used to help deliver electricity. Stealing copper can literally steal your life. 